What's up guys, Prox here and I'm back with another video today. It's gonna be a short video because uh, I don't really have time for uh, too much fiddling around. I'm working on a project and today I'm just gonna simply show you how to do depth of field with mental ray. In the background here is the image I just rendered. It took quite a while and I'm gonna explain why right now. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go into 3ds Max here now this is just a simple scene that I set up to do this I just uh, to create the wall I used a max script it's very simple just randomize some boxes that moved in and out same with the sort of flooring here and then I just created some uh, default uh, teapots I applied some standard materials to everything in the scene and uh, lit, the, lit the scene with some free lights and some th and three spotlights in the roof here now, uh, in order to create uh, the depth of field effect, you need a camera. And in Mental Ray, the depth of field options are in the camera uh, options. So, uh, if I delete my camera, I should delete it. And then I'll create a new camera. In order to create a camera, you can either go to the Create panel, click on camera and create a camera here, just click on free and then or target to create a free or targeted camera or you can click, click uh, control C on your keyboard press control C on your keyboard and that'll bring up a camera um, now what you, what you want to do is you want to select the um, camera target and place it where you want uh, your camera to kind of focus. In my case, I wanted to focus on the center pot right here. And then you select your camera. You go into the modifiers tab. And under the multi pass effect uh, parameters rollout, enable it and select depth of field with mental ray in parentheses, not the regular depth of field the one with mental ray. Now the way this works is it works basically just like a camera. This is the target distance plane, that's what will be in focus. The the uh, plane here is what will be in focus. So everything that's uh, above and and below the uh, line of focus will be in focus. The target distance and this value is important. The depth of field parameters is the f-stop value. Now Everything has to be in scale <coughs> for this to work. So I created a realistically scaled uh, scene here. The teapots are, well, they're a little big, but they're still realistically within scale. It's about 10 centimeters per box here. And so the f-stop value works. So if, if you don't get the effect, then scale your scene realistically because mental ray is very physically based and if you take a picture of a giant car which is three kilometers high you won't get that bouquet or depth of field effect now this uh, f-stop value the lower it is the more uh, depth of field you'll get or the more blurriness so if I set this down to say 0.3 you can see here a lot more blurriness going on around in the corners now that is for you to decide how much you want it. I like a subtle effect, or, well not subtle, something in between. You can get something real subtle by by uh, applying an even higher value. As you can see, this is uh, this is a render with uh, a depth of field of of uh, 0 0.8, and it's quite blurry in the edges here. And as you can see somewhere, I'm not sure if this comes across in the video, but it gets grainy, kind of. And that's because I didn't render with uh, uh, too much uh, I uh, anti-aliasing sampling. So if it gets grainy, press F10, go to Render tab. And under Sampling Quality, increase your quality, say, to 4, 16, or something like that. But be aware that... Uh, this depth of field effect increases render time significantly. So if you already have a long render time, adding this to uh, the scene can be <coughs> increase, increase render time quite a lot. And if you're making video, 
and that'll be added to every frame so consider it before you apply but I want you to try and make a scene uh, you can make it similar to this or any other scene and just apply the depth of field effect feel free to leave me a uh, response to see how what you would did with it so remember uh, once again create a camera go and click on a camera go into the depth of field parameters multi pass effect enable it a depth of field mental ray and set the f-stop value to something low it'll stay uh, it'll stay at 2 that's the standard value so turn it down to about 1.5 or 1.8 or whatever you want to um, to get the effect <coughs> I'm not gonna render right now because uh, <laughs> well it takes forever uh, well here's the original render this is what it looks like and uh, yeah, tell me what you think. If you're wondering anything, anything was unclear, leave a comment below and I'll answer you straight away. If not, I'll probably answer you within within a few hours. So, that's my little weekend tip for you. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe and uh, I'll see you in the next video.